Continue with our focus today on South Africa's dilapidating infrastructure in local government. We understand the government is planning to address the crisis with its district development model. This model aims to centralize a lot of functions through district hubs. However, providing badly managed municipalities with more money could compound the problems. Let's discuss this now with governance experts, Dr. Halan Klute. This hour. Dr. Klute, good afternoon. Thank you very much for your time. My first question to you, your views, uh, again, to share with our viewers about the district development model with all the myriad of challenges that local governments are facing is it the silver bullet good afternoon Dan and good afternoon to the listeners you know the the key in South Africa is implementation you know we've got we've got great policies in this country I always say if we should have a World Cup on policies we would win without having to practice and so the key really is implementation so in theory the district development model is an excellent model that tries to coordinate local government services you must understand that communities experience government. They can't really draw the distinction between province or national. Or development takes place within communities. And so the district development model, in theory, talks about how do we have a one plan? How do we make sure that these three spheres of local of government work together to strengthen the capacity of local government on the ground to ensure better service delivery? So that you don't have this operating inside but a more integrated approach to the development. So implementation, implementation, but then if it's implementation, that should go hand in hand with ability or competence. Do you think there's enough of that? I think research after research has shown that we've got a capacity problem within local government. We do not have enough skilled and competent people to manage. And I think what this, you know, the new municipal staff regulations come into effect shortly. What these regulations allow is for uh, capacity to be uh, almost like deployed or, or transferred to other spheres of local government. So I could be working for the province, but working in local government. You see, local government is where it is happening. If we talk about the competence or a capable state, local people experience it first and about how responsive their government is and how they are implementing policies. And so we do have a capacity uh, uh, lack at the local government level, at the political level, as well as the administrative level. And that is why the district development model talks about this one plan and this hub in the district to strengthen the capacity of local government to respond to the needs of the people. Is there political will to make it successful? I'm asking this against the context of CADA deployment by the governing party, the African National Congress. I think that is you've hit the nail on the head. We've got a lack of political will. If you look at what is happening in the city of Johannesburg now, uh, where, where the, the incumbent was placed on special leave, and now service delivery stopped because you do not have a, a manager or a management team that can implement you. You don't have a strong leader there. And so one must ask, you know, how do these people then get appointed in the first place uh, and so we, we do have a problem in capacity at local government level. Uh, we do not have enough competent staff there. Now, uh, the infrastructure is broken. I mean, our reporters have been crisscrossing the country for the last few days on the channel. We've been focusing on it. It's there for you to see. And, of course, the situation in places like KwaZulu-Natal has been exacerbated by the floods, and that's going to be something going on into future. W what would it, would it take to, to sort of move this needle in the right direction? Uh, getting competent people in place is, is one aspect, of course, requiring that strong political will uh, that is driven by by leadership what what else should we uh, should we consider dr klute I think politicians, you know, need to really uh, set aside their political differences. In my view and in my experience and in interacting with communities, communities really couldn't care less which party governs them as long as their service is delivery. Now, the problem with the coalition governments like we have, for example, Johannesburg is a case in point where we cannot get consensus among the political parties about who should be the leader to drive um, uh, service delivery going forward. And so political parties, the Auditor General talk about this. Where you have political parties being politically mature and setting aside their political differences, that is where service delivery gets done. And so 
political parties will have to put aside their political differences and work in the best interests of communities. We have consensus in this country. Poverty, unemployment, inequality, corruption. Those are the four demons. It's just that we differ sometimes in how do we, the path to take there. But political parties will have to show some sort of a maturity and to show some sort of leadership and work together for the good of communities. Yeah, and hopefully that will happen sometime soon. Thank you very much, Dr. Halan Klute, for your time and insights this afternoon about how to fix the ills of local governments, the failures of local governments. The government has approved the cabinet in 2019, the district development model. It can only work if it's properly implemented. For it to be properly implemented, you need the right capacity. That talks to competence. Put in people there who know to do the job.